Hello everyone, this is a DIL asset from past year IAM CAD. Let's read the question. 1000 patients currently suffering from a disease were selected to study the effectiveness of treatment of four types of medicines A, B, C and D. These patients were first randomly assigned into two groups of equal size. So there were a total of 1000 patients and they divided into two groups of equal size. So equal size means 500 and 500 treatment group and control group so first group is called treatment group and the next one is control group the patients in the control group were not treated with any of these medicines instead they were given a dummy medicine called placebo containing only sugar and starch the following information is known about the patients in the treatment group so the 500 people in the control group does not get any kind of medicines a b c or d only the remaining 500 in the treatment group will receive the medicines so in real world this is exactly how you conduct a vaccine trial you select a group of patients and then divide it into two groups one of the group is given placebo and the other group is given regular medicine or vaccine whichever they are testing you can read more about it so let's come back to the question following information is known about the patients in the treatment group so we have a to f all of these informations are about the 500 people that is present in control group. Take some time to read the points. First point is a total of 250 patients were treated with type A medicine and a total of 210 patients were treated with type C medicine. So if you look at all of these points, you can see that different numbers are thrown around. So before proceeding, I need to explain another theory to you. Let's look at that first. So this question is actually based on set theory. So for example, if there were two type of medicines A and b then we would have drawn a circle to represent both of them a and b this part will represent medicine a only and this part will represent medicine b only and this will be intersection between a and b which means both a and b medicines are given and everyone outside this that means all these areas will be treated as people who did not get any of medicine a and b but in our current problem there are actually four medicines a b c and d for example, some people may get both the medicines A and B or some others may get only B and C or C and D or some of them will receive A, B, C and D and so on. There are about 15 different possibilities. So what can we do here? So instead of using circles to represent each sets, we will make use of a different diagram. I will show how it is done. So these are basically projections and each projection represents A, B, C or D. So first projection, second one was like this third one will be like this and fourth one so the first projection represents a second one b third one c and fourth one d if you look at this image you can see that the whole of the diagram is divided into 15 different partitions 4 here 4 4 12 plus 3 15 so what does each partition represents for example, this partition contains the number of people who have received the medicine D only. Now this one represents the number of people who have received only medicine C. So let me ask you a couple of questions. Which one of the partitions represents the number of people who have received both A and B only? So that will be this one. Another question, which of the partition represents the number of people who have received A, B, C and D, all the medicines? This partition represents all the number of people who have received A, B, C and D. If you look, you can see that it is part of A, it is part of B, it is part of C and it is part of D. Let's look at one more. Number of people who have received A, B and C will be included in this partition. And all the people who have not received any of these medicines A, B, C or D will be represented outside this diagram and within this universal set. I hope you understood this. We will apply this in the current question and you will get a better idea of it. I request you to try and draw the diagram on your own. If you are not able to draw it, then go back and see the video. Make sure you draw it on your own. Otherwise, it is very likely that you will forget soon. Okay, so this is our diagram. We have four different medicines. A, B, C and D. So the total number of patients were 1000. So we will represent that 1000 using this universal set, which you can represent it here. And they are divided into two equal parts. So 500 patients will be control group and all the control group are outside this projection diagram. So 500 people here and the rest of the 500 people will be within these A, B, C and D projections. So let's read each point one by one and try to mark as much as we can. A total of 250 patients were treated with type A medicine and a total of 200 patients were treated with type C medicine. Now we will read through each point. 
The first point, a total of 250 patients were treated with type A medicine. So this projection here represents A and the 250 value represents the whole of projections from here to here. So we will write down the value along with A. I will write it here 250 and this 250 is represented by whole of this projection. And a total of 210 patients were treated with type C medicine. So again type C is represented from here to here. Whole of this projection is type C. So we will write 210 here just below C. Second point, 25 patients were treated with type A medicine only. So this partition which does not include B, C or D represents A only. So 25 we will write it here. 20 patients were treated with type C medicine only. So this portion represents C only, 20 here. 10 patients were treated with type D medicine only. So 10 here. The next point, 35 patients were treated with type A and type D medicines only. A and D only is represented by this partition. So we will write 35 here. 3, 5. 20 patients were treated with type A and type B medicines only. So A and B only is represented by this partition. We will write 20 over here. 30 patients were treated with type A and type C medicines only. A and C is represented by this partition. So 30 here. 20 patients were treated with type C and type D medicine only which is this one. So we write here 20. So we move on to the next point. 100 patients were treated with exactly 3 types of medicines. For example, A, B, C. There are 3 types of medicines. All the people who have been treated with A, B, C is included in the group. But it is not over. You have to add all the different medicine combinations. Next possibility could be A, C, D, A, B, D. Next possibility is B, C, D. So these are the 4 possibilities and this is equal to 100. So let me just mark these 4 partitions in the diagram. A, B, C only will be this one. So I will name it as U. Next is A, C, D. A, C and D only will be this one. So I will name it as V. A, B and D only will be this one W. B, C and D is this partition. I name it as X. So I will just note it down here. U plus V plus W plus X is equal to 100. Next point, 40 patients were treated with medicines of types A, B and C but not with medicines of type D. So there are three medicines A, B and C which is actually represented in this diagram using the letter U. So U is equal to 40. We will write it here too. The rest of the point says 20 patients were treated with medicines of types A, C and D. A, C and D. So again we got the next letter V is equal to 20. V is equal to 20. Now going to the last point, 50 patients were given all 4 types of medicines. So A, B, C and D only is represented by this partition. So I will write 50 here. 75 patients were treated with exactly one type of medicine. So what does that mean? A only or B only or C only or D only is equal to 75. Totally 75. If you look at the diagram, you can see that A only is 25. B we don't know. C only is 20 and D only is 10 equal to 75 so B will be equal to 30 plus 25 55 75 minus 55 which is equal to 20 so we can write the value of B only as 20 here also let's substitute the value of U and V in equation number 1 U is 40 V is 20 60 W plus X is equal to 100 minus 60 that is 40 I will mark this as equation number 2 we will use it later on so if you remember our first point the total number of patients who have taken medicine A is 250 as we have written down here and for C it is 210 so we have those values too so let's try to form an equation and solve this question okay so we are taking all the values of A A will be equal to 25 plus 20 plus 30 plus 40 plus V that is 20 plus 5 0 plus 35 plus W okay and the value of A we know it as 250 so 250 is equal to let's add all these numbers 25 plus 20 45 75 115 135 185 192 20 so 220 plus W W is equal to 250 minus 220 which is 30 so we got the value of W as 30 which means you can substitute it in equation number 2 and get the value of x as 10. So we got another value. Let's write it here. 10 and w is equal to 30. Now before proceeding, let's look at the first question. The first question says how many patients were treated with medicine type B? The question is not to find the medicine type B only, but you have to find out the whole value inside the projection of B. So which means you have to find out the value of this partition 
and this partition. So let's try to find out. So how can we do that? We have the value of C, so the rest of the part is EC. So let's name this partition as Y. So whole of this C partition will be equal to 210. 30 plus 40, 70, 70 plus 20, 90, 110, 120, 170, 190 plus Y. 190 plus Y is equal to 210, which means Y is equal to 20. So we'll write the value of Y as 20 here. And now we have to find out the value of this partition. Let's name it as K. So how can you find out that value? You already know that there were 1000 patients in total and it was divided into 500 were in control group and 500 were randomly taken for treatment. So which means the whole value of the partition will be equal to 500. So all you have to do is add up these values and equate it to 500, you will get the value of K. So to find that out, the whole partition of A contains 250. So 250 plus, we have already added this one. So we will add 20 plus 20, 40 plus 10, 50 plus K, 50 plus K plus 20 plus 20, 40 plus 10, 50 is equal to 500. So when you add up, you will get 350 K is equal to 500 minus 350, which is 150. So the value of K is equal to 150. So now let's look at the questions. Question D1, how many patients were treated with medicine type B? So you have to find out everything that comes under B. If you add it up, it will be 160, 200, 260, 300 and then 340. So the answer for first question is 340. Let's look at the remaining. D2, the number of patients who were treated with medicine types B, C and D but not type A. So B, C and D but not A will be X is equal to 10. So the value is 10. Next question, how many patients were treated with medicine types B and D only? B and D is represented by this value. So K. So the answer is 1, 5, 0. And the last question, the number of patients who were treated with medicine type D. So again, you have to find out the total number of patients within the projection D. It will be 70, 80, 100, 110, 260, 290, 325. So answer for question number D4 will be 325. So I hope you understood how to solve this question. If one of these questions come, all you have to know is to how to draw this diagram and the rest of the things will be easy. Stay safe and I will see you in the next video.